Okay. Consulting with a small uh, design and engineering uh, here in San Francisco. Um, before I begin, I want to congratulate you on such an organized uh, and, and, and well equipped uh, neighborhood. Usually, it is refreshing to see. District wide. Uh, sorry? District wide. We're all District 6, which is many neighborhoods. Correct. We're not just for this neighborhood. Okay, so uh, anyhow, it's refreshing to see uh, such a, a well organized neighborhood. Um, so, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, and involved with it, uh, I did get the chance to uh, set up a, a, a digital media, but uh, what we are proposing is at 4.30 Eddie, two blocks up from here, and uh, I think right in front of the, uh, the previous building uh, presented with the previous uh, presented. Uh, what we're proposing is an eight-story uh, residential, mixed residential unit with uh, uh, over stories? the basement. It's an eight-story building over the basement, and, and uh, with 23 uh, condo studios and uh, uh, 24 uh, bicycle uh, park. Could you kind of straight uh, put it a little closer? Yes, yeah, yeah, so I will be able to get the uh, the beat on that. All right. All right there. Okay. okay not that. Should I start over or? No, no, that's okay. okay. Okay, great. All right. So uh, we have a 23 unit uh, condo uh, in this building. Two at the uh, ground floor with a commercial unit and uh, uh, 21 from the second floor to the eighth floor. Uh, we're providing, we're providing public uh, common space uh, right at the second floor uh, where the light well is and at the eighth floor. And there are two, and the rear yard is uh, dedicated to two uh, residential units at the first floor. Um, <coughs> Right now the side is vacant and uh, on either side there is on the left hand side it's a Fox Hotel and on the right hand side uh, it's Jackson Hotel if I remember correctly. Uh, Jackson. <coughs> Jackson, correct. Uh, so what we did basically with the building, uh, we're provide at the uh, ground floor we're providing the uh, required setback, uh, real uh, setback at 25% and at each side of the building, we're uh, uh, providing uh, light wells from uh, first floor on the uh, left hand side and uh, on the right hand side, and from second floor up to basically uh, provide uh, direct light, natural light, and air to uh, our neighbors. that we have which our uh, bicycle parking, uh, storage area, a uh, utility room, and uh, uh, basically garbage uh, room area goes uh, at the first floor. Uh, we have a, a, a commercial unit facing the uh, right of the street and the back of uh, that commercial uh, floor we have two uh, studio units, residential studio units located at the first floor. Uh, going at, at the back, 
uh, rear guard uh, here basically is a that that is a, a dedicated private uh, uh, orphanage space for those two units at the ground level. So we said that we sunk in, or is it just going to be straight? No, it's a no, it's a it's a like basic a level, but the uh, great at great. There is no excavation at the uh, rear yards. Uh, on the top, uh, you see second floor that we have, uh, two units uh, located at the front of the building and one larger unit at the back of the uh, building. And in the middle, uh, uh, there is a, at the second floor, we have this uh, common opening space, basically for uh, use of residents. Uh, and from third floor up, Basically, uh, the floor plan that we have is basically is, is, uh, mimicking the lower floors and uh, with a, a generous light well uh, at the bottom that you see. I'm going to jump on, jump to. Uh, I'm going to jump to the sixth and seventh floor. Basically, uh, what we're uh, providing uh, also uh, at the front, uh, uh, at the sixth and seventh floor, uh, what we have is two units in the front and, and uh, one unit at the back. Uh, at eighth floor, uh, also mimicking the same uh, floor plans. Uh, roof at the uh, top, it's again shared by all the uh, residents of these 23 units. This will be uh, the front of the building. Uh, I'm going to uh, uh, briefly go over the, the design philosophy that we have behind the, the, the facade. Basically, working uh, for the last uh, couple of months, actually, year with the planning department and the preservation uh, planner uh, uh, working on this project. Uh, what we're trying to bring in at this side is uh, basically uh, this modular system mimicking and uh, following the, uh, uh, the bridge type of work. Uh, it's a, uh, basically you, you find uh, in Tenderloin district uh, around the, the neighborhood basically. Uh, what we have, it's a more module system with uh, some sort of uh, Juliet balconies at the front uh, and at the top floor basically we're breaking that pattern so uh, at the street level it's uh, it, the building is not going to look as tall as the 80-story 80, you know, 80 building uh, will look like. <coughs> also uh, At the back, uh, we have these bay windows uh, sticking out and uh, with a uh, wood siding uh, between 4 to 12 inches uh, of uh, horizontal wood siding at the back, uh, which is going to animate the, the uh, rear facade a little bit more for the uh, viewers of the, the adjacent uh, neighbors. Represents uh, the height and the uh, uh, depth of the uh, Jackson Hill at 440, uh, the area street. Basically, uh, at the middle, uh, what we're doing, we're providing this light well and uh, the, the fenestration that we have on this wall to uh, provide more uh, natural light and ventilation for uh, our residents and also, uh, you know, allowing uh, natural light and uh, air for uh, residents at 440, uh, area street. Uh, 
at the left hand side uh, adjacent to Foxville. Uh, we're basically uh, providing two light wells uh, at two different uh, locations uh, uh, for the same reason, providing air and ventilation, and ventilation and uh, natural light to our neighbor, and um, at the uh, you know beyond that uh, elevation of the uh, our neighbor, we're uh, providing uh, uh, more fenestration at the side uh, side of the building. Uh, so hopefully, our residents uh, get that uh, a bit more of natural light from uh, either side of the building. But this space, this is a section of the building. Uh, hopefully, this is uh, a bit more uh, uh, clear how the building gonna sit at the side and uh, the basically relationship of the units next to each other and to the side. Uh, Eight story with a basement at uh, 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 the uh, uh, side. Uh, at, at the rear yard, we have a private uh, a common space. Uh, I'm sorry, private uh, open space for two uh, residents at the uh, ground floor. And uh, again, at the roof deck, uh, we have a common space for all the residents. As far as the um, material on the uh, front facade, we are introducing our architectural concrete, uh, concrete and uh, which will be mostly at the each side of the building and front side of the building it will be concrete and uh, a veneer or uh, on top with it's going to be this uh, 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 fiber cement system that it is a module of fiber cement uh, this yellow uh, uh, beige color uh, uh, fiber cement system that it's uh, it's it's a dull non uh, reflective type of uh, material also, window system that we have, it's going to be a powder coated aluminum uh, fenestration type, and also uh, with the uh, setting that we're uh, uh, basically introduced, uh, we're hoping to mimic and also follow that uh, Juliet balcony uh, that we have in the, the district uh, uh, here and there. Uh, at the ground floor, we're providing 50 feet uh, high ceiling uh, uh, commercial uh, space. And um, uh, it's a one commercial space uh, with a vast uh, 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 opening into the building. Uh, as far as uh, neighborhood outreach uh, goes, uh, there's a second meeting that uh, we we're invited to. The first one uh, that we held it, uh, last week at the site, uh, close to the site. Uh, it was mostly for adjacent neighbors and the, uh, some of the residents at the back of the building. I can share that with you later on if you're uh, interested. Uh, but uh, uh, and this our second meeting that we have uh, in next couple of uh, months. Uh, this is still very uh, preliminary. We're at the preliminary stage of the, this uh, project. Uh, uh, two weeks from now, we're gonna be in front of the uh, planning commission uh, for the CU application. And again, as a previous presenter. Uh, said any building higher than 50 feet tall, uh, it needs to go through that uh, process. Uh, as far as environmental, uh, we're expecting in a week or two to have a, a, a other CADEX uh, issued. Um, and as far as the shadow study, it was a bit clear on uh, shadow and uh, uh, wind. If there is any question on, uh, on sure. that. You said you had a well, we'll start with, you said you had that outreach meeting. Um, where was that and how many people showed up? Oh, so we had the outreach at the Salvation Army building. Um, that was mandated um, notification for the property owners that are within 200 feet or 300 feet of the neighborhood. Um, at that point, two members from the public, three members from the public, and then three members from representation from TNPC showed up. So six? Yeah. And so we met with them. Tomorrow we're actually meeting with the, uh, with the Jefferson Hotel residents. We reached out to, to the other resident hotel. They have not come back to us whether they want to have a meeting or not. That's not surprising. Going that, I'm surprised. Yeah. Well, we actually went. We actually met with the. We actually reached out to the people that are that are renting 
the space from them, not actually Patel. He did not show up at the owner's meeting, but we reached out to the residents that are there and we have not gotten a response yet. Well, most of the people uh, in the community of Fairfax so initially when we when when so I'm the project sponsor along with two partners um, when we purchased this it was a parking lot and it was a um, well no longer it's not a parking lot anymore <laughs> and so we, we shut it down now. we closed it off as the neighbors felt that it was uh, creating more problems than it was worth so we voluntarily shut the parking lot down soon after we purchased the, the property. Um, so shut both of them down or just the one? Both. So we maintain the yard. Um, we have our affordable housing is three. We are doing it on site. Um, we intend to work with the neighborhood when the potential commercial space comes up to see if there's something that would work for everybody. Yes? Now you said the the, gro the ground floor, I mean the height of the ground floor 15 is feet. 15 feet. Okay, I just right. wanted to make sure. And the reason why we elected not to do parking on site was if we did parking, because the lot is only 24 and three quarters, basically essentially that would be the front of the building. And so um, trying to keep with the neighborhood, initially we fought to get the Julian balconies uh, to have some style to the, to, to the neighborhood. Right. And so um, initially the planning did not want us to have balconies. Um, they were looking for a much more plain design. And so we fought to try to get the Julia balconies. And so we have the Julia balconies. We elected to do a commercial. We're doing bicycle storage. Uh, and I believe, I think this might have a little storage, right? This one? I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah this one has a little storage. Um, the main concern is probably going to be the, the noise mediation uh, mitigation between the Jefferson as well as the other hotel, um, as well as I believe one of the hotels is requiring they have uh, property line windows. Um, what's your green status? It's a green point uh, status. Uh, I believe almost all the buildings in San Francisco to pass correct. Uh, building and planning now are, are, are green. Which, it's a matter yeah. of municipal need or not, right? Yeah, and San Francisco's requirements is very, you know, top, it's basically, uh, it, the, the standard is, it's bar is high, it's almost uh, lead, not lead, but it's very close to uh, lead status. And the follow up, you guys had asked, is there going to be, we have washer and dryers in each unit, and the reason why they're all studios is because we had a density bump for the units as long as we stayed no higher than 500 square feet per, 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 per unit. And we felt that that was going to be more in line with the neighborhood. I mean, although it may not be affordable for some, that, that is going to be probably affordable for, 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 for I mean, especially because of the size of the unit. Is there, they're all going to be 500 square feet? They're all going to be 498, <laughs> actually. Yeah, and with the higher density. Well, yeah. you know, that, you know, you're going to get a lot of first time, you'll get a lot of first time buyers. Uh, you'll get, you know, you, these aren't going to be CFOs or CEOs of companies. These are going to be neighborhood folks, hopefully. Yeah, with a higher density, we also have a chance to uh, provide more BMRs uh, if you want to go with this uh, yeah. <laughs> density uh, that uh, most other uh, you know the design goes with. Uh, we would have only provided one BMR, uh, but with this density, we have a, a three BMRs at site. And this does not require sorry, uh, does not require. There's no variance or no uh, exceptions on this building. This is a completely it's fully full comp full comp with the exception of the 50 feet. So that's the senior question. Yeah, um, okay, now when a lot of these tech bros run out of uh, their venture capital money and they are not showing a profit in their apps or whatever they're designing, a lot of them are gonna be leaving town. A lot, I mean, there may be a downturn in the local economy. How have you, how, how can you make your money if this thing happens? Well, so on this particular deal, I mean, for San Franciscans, that's a better thing. I mean, if we're building a, a larger amount of buildings and we have 40 to 50,000 um, housing projects in line over the next five years, and people leave, vacate our city, even though they are they are luxury units, it is going to account for units in the city. So that will actually drop the price down. We don't know what the market.